Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Zvezda. So this kit comes in 135 scale and we actually have here a Typhoon VDV 4x4 um, armored car with a remote control module on the top as you can see here on this nice box art and of course we have a commercial sample which was purchased with your help so this is the final shape of this kit i got it from model shop so you get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and i would like to say thank you for your donations which actually made this possible so here you can see that the box size is surprisingly large it barely fits into our uh, shot frame but we also get a nice uh, box art here and here is comparison with my hand so that you can understand the size of this box also the kit number is 3648 as you can see in the name of this video review and then on the side here we have some information about the manufacturer this list of the paints and decals map as well as some information about the kit so 331 parts this is really <laughs> interesting for just armored vehicle even though uh, assembled model will not be large it will be just 16 centimeters so it's not huge obviously for a wheeled vehicle and here on the opposite side you can see uh, three other kits in the 135 scale we reviewed some of them so you can check their videos on our youtube channel and of course on the rear side we can see as usual the picture of the finished uh, model of course maybe with this <laughs> green uh, color glasses it was a bit overdone i would rather do them a bit uh, less contrasty i would say but it is as it is as you can see also quite a nice build and it also gives you a possibility to see what is actually included into the kit and as usual for zvezda we have everything sealed with this tape so i will have to cut through it so just give me a second it's necessary to use a knife for that and then we will take a closer look so this kit should be interesting for modelers who did not want to use the Chinese models because we also had uh, some Chinese alternatives available for quite some time. And now we have this uh, offering from Zvezda, which is completely new tool, obviously, but still it is interesting to see what is uh, supplied here out of the box. And so first of all, you can see that uh, the box design is quite typical. We had the color wraparound and here we have the all internals inside this cardboard box. And of course, all the sprues are packed into sealed plastic bags. So I will have to open them one by one. But luckily on the top, we have the Ziploc bag with the mesh decals and clear frame. So I will take them first and let's start with the clear frame. So here obviously we have all the glasses for the model. I will zoom in and now you can see what I'm talking about. So molding quality looks fine, but as you can guess, there are no masks supplied inside. So if you would like to get a nice paintwork, you will have to do it with your own hands and tools or maybe get some aftermarket set because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to get a clean finish without damaging these clear parts. But again, molding quality is really top notch. So there is nothing to complain about. Next, we continue with the small mesh. I guess it will be used for the bonnet, but well, it's a textile mesh. So if you have a chance to get some P upgrade set, definitely go for it because it will be a worthy thing to use on your model. Next, we continue with this uh, chrome sticker. As you can see here, we have this uh, special stickers for the rear view mirrors. And it's quite a handy thing because it looks like a mirror, so why not to use it? And it's already pre-cut. Next, we continue with decals. So here we have quite nice decal sheet because it features all the necessary symbols. It features some of the interior decals and full number registry as well. So this is a really handy thing. And I think if you would like to copy some alternative marking option, then definitely it's something good to have out of the box. Next is something what I'm not that happy to see. There are a few things which I am not happy to see in armor kits and this is one of them. It's a, well, it's not actually vinyl tires. It's actually 
I think more of a rubber tire so I will zoom in a bit so that you can see what I'm talking about first of all they are quite tough so I cannot even squeeze them with my fingers so I'm not sure what is it in uh, real nature but it feels like rubber so we also have some details on the tire walls which is really nice and of course here you can see the tire pattern looks good but again if you would like to have something more detailed and I think in this scale it's a uh, quite welcome wish so then go for some resin upgrade which will give you more features and will be actually more convincing on the model now i'm opening the plastic bag so just give me a second it will take some time because it's a sealed plastic bag okay so what do we have here and frankly speaking this model is interesting to build because it's a uh, car armor and I am somehow more familiar with the car armor not with the tracked one so here we start with the first gray plastic sprue and I think it's worth zooming out so that you can see what we will be talking about so here we have a mix of various parts and as far as I can guess we have various interior parts here so also here by the way you can see the front mask and here we have the interior uh, front panel and maybe it's worth zooming into this uh, face mask or front mask so as you can see you know, there are um, separate panels still which will have to be installed here by the way below it you can see the steering wheel and overall adhesion points and molding quality looks quite fine the same can be said about this part so here you can see the instrument panel and still quite good and if you flip over the sprue so let's zoom out a bit here you can see what we have from the opposite side so quite nice molding quality i do not see any possible molding damage maybe some uh, pusher pins but this is not such a serious thing to uh, be bothered about and next we continue with another gray plastic sprue so here we have slightly bigger plastic parts these ones obviously will be used for the car body as you can see we have even some parts for the turret here and again I can see that some of the hedges are molded into also here we have some of the pioneer tools so if I zoom in you can see what I'm talking about so maybe some of the upgrade sets which will be um, coming out quite soon they will be tackling this with the separate tool sets but it will be up to you if you would like to actually uh, replace them and here we have some parts for the main gun so as you remember we have a remote controlled main gun so it's quite an interesting configuration next i have the second plastic bag so just give me a second plastic bags are a bit tricky to open but still doable so i just need to take out the screws and we will be talking about the next set of frames okay so first of all we have a pair of the sprues and they are dedicated to the suspension and also interior parts i will leave only one because uh, they carry the same th set of parts so there is no need to show them again and again and if we zoom in here you can see what we are talking about so we have also wheel rims here we have also the wheel axles various tools which will be placed here also here note this large shock absorbers some seat parts and everything looks really good if i flip over here you can see these parts from the opposite side but again the exterior features they look really nice so it's just a matter of careful weathering and you'll get a quite convincing result with these parts but that's not all next we continue with a bigger plastic frame so this one again carries large parts for the uh, car body so here i think we should zoom out a bit so first of all the most noticeable thing is that doors are molded separately and this is a quite good feature to have because you can open the doors and expose the interior obviously and i think some others will be using it it's a handy feature for some diorama ideas or maybe just to show what is actually inside and as you saw there is plenty of things inside and if i flip it over we also have this v-shaped bottom part which is also quite typical feature of modern armored vehicles especially wheeled ones uh, these personal carriers so that's why it is nice and one more thing is 
this large sprue so here we continue with more car body pedals and as far as you can see a lot of stuff actually will be installed um, layer by layer I would say because here we have also another skid plate which will be installed on the bottom plate and again molding quality I like what I see here the only question is uh, how the fitment will be but considering the quality of the recent Swiss Duck kits I think this one will not be an exclusion from this rule so that's what we have in terms of plastic parts then we have the safety brochure nothing special and then we continue with the assembly manual so here it will be interesting to see how this vehicle is actually assembled so let's close the lenses a bit maybe zoom out even more so this is a black and white brochure here we have a short history node and also some advices on how to work with the model and then if I open it here we continue with the parts map so as far as you can see unused parts are not marked and somehow I did not notice it before on Swiss Duck Kids. Here we have the first marking option and it's really nice that the marking guide is printed in color actually and then if I flip it over here we have another one in camouflage and again I will repeat myself nobody stops you from checking some other marking options if you have some reference material but surprisingly the assembly process starts with the turret so here you have to assemble a lot of things together and also you have to think through how you will be painting them because for example you can see the main gun barrel is packed into this uh, heat shield and then it will be really difficult to paint so that's why it's worth considering how to paint whole stuff next we continue with this uh, smoke dispensers also the turret gets assembled obviously there is no interior in the turret and here we continue with more parts i'm not sure where this basket actually goes so we need to check the next steps. I guess that's the lower section of the turret, which will be visible through the interior. Because as you can see, a lot of things actually happening inside interior. Even the seats are quite detailed and they definitely deserve some seat belts as well, because it's really surprising that we don't have them here. Nevertheless, we continue with more panels getting inside. And as you can see, armor sides and rear armor wall getting in place as well then the top getting installed so yes this basket was a part of the turret and then we continue with the uh, window frame and here it is interesting that this window is assembled out of two clear parts so that's i guess how they replicate the duplex and this is quite interesting as well, so that the thickness will be actually corresponding with what we have on the Rio subject. Next we continue with more parts getting installed on the lower section. And note that for example wheel axles are getting actually attached to the skid plate, not to the bottom plate. Here we continue with the storage box, so all of this stuff getting installed here and there. I'm not seeing the engine, that's why I'm a bit confused, because um, I would expect the engine, because we have the separate bonnet panel, but as you can see it's empty inside. So maybe there will be some aftermarket which will resolve this issue, who knows. Next we continue with some rear panels, they are also getting installed separately, and then here on the last stages we install more of the suspension parts, we assemble wheels, also the snorkel, some of the external fitments and I can see some tools getting in place and here finally we install some doors so even though manufacturer does not suggest that it is possible to open them but as you remember they are molded separately so it would be a shame not to open at least the rear one in order to expose what is inside so overall this kit looks like a very interesting build in 135 scale so if you are brave enough to go for such build definitely try it out and I think the price is on par with Chinese kits so you have to choose between them and of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about this release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye